Greetings everyone, this video is just a quick warning video about the channel Round Saturn's Eye on YouTube. I was planning to do a full in-depth expose of this guy, however I don't feel it's worth my time because there's a lot of other videos on YouTube exposing this man, and I will leave links in the description to these videos. So this is just a quick video that I've put together to warn people about this channel. Okay, he says here, so logically the only way for the timeless maker of this universe to free people from the curse and trap of time, finity and law, is by sacrificing one not bound by it. First of all, nowhere in the Bible does it say that we're trapped by time, but anyways, let's continue. Within the cube, we're not trapped inside a cube, friends. Anyone that is teaching this is telling lies. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that we're trapped inside a cube. And then God had to come and save us from this cube. Something that's just been made up. And then it says here the epicentre that represents the God of this world. We know in the Bible that it says that the devil is the God of this world. It says here in 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, And when the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Believe not in Christ that is. And the reason it says that the devil is the god of this world is because this world is wicked, friends. First John 5, 19 And we know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. We are no part of this world, friends. If you're a Christian, that is, then you're saved. You know, look what Jesus said, John 17, 9 I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Jesus never prayed for the world because this world is wicked. And look here in Mark ten thirty. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. The world to come eternal life. We're part of a world to come, friends. But the main point of me showing this clip is for this part. He says that the God of this world is I am. Blasphemy. Exodus 3.14 And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. I am. He's trying to say that the God of this world, the devil, is the great I am. This is what these occultists do. They start bringing this stuff in, right? Saturn is also Cronus, Father Time Grim Reaper. He's trying to say that the devil is the father. Even though the Bible says... Here in Matthew 23 9, and call no man father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. You know, the Bible makes it clear, friends, that the devil wants to be like the Most High, the devil wants the title of being the father. So, if you see anyone on YouTube bringing this stuff in, and you're following their channel and you think they're Christian, avoid their channel. Okay, see so if you look at this video he has on his backup channel, The Hexagon on Saturn, Dennis McKenna. And you read the description. It says, Dennis McKenna discusses the hexagonal feature on Saturn's pole, the great deception involving so-called aliens, and stumbles upon some truth at the end when he speaks of the Holy Hexagon worship, aka Black Kaaba Cube worship, which still goes on within mainstream religion today. See if you watch this video and it's full, it's only 1 minute and 35 seconds. The guy mentions Holy Hexagon one time, and look what he says about it. Uh, that changes a lot of things, that changes everything. Because we sure as hell didn't make it, you know. And so, I mean, for one thing, organized religion can pretty much pack it in, uh, you know, and go home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we could all start wor worshipping the holy hexagon. <laughs> and organised religion can pretty much pack it in and go home. And we can all start worshipping the holy hexagon. And he says here, and stumbles upon some truth at the end when he speaks of the holy hexagon worship. Okay, you can say it's just a coincidence that this description is set up in that way, but I don't think so, friends. This guy knows what he's done. Okay, see this stuff here? This stuff is utterly demonic. If you come across a channel on YouTube teaching this stuff, I would encourage you and love to avoid their channel. It says here, The veil of the Holy of Holies was rent from top to bottom 
to expose the black cube of the old covenant. You know, there's a lot of people on YouTube teaching, and these people seem like nice moral people, teaching that Jesus came to expose some sort of black cube of the old covenant. This cannot be found in the Bible. It comes right out of this book, The Spear of Destiny by Trevor Ravenscroft. The occult power behind the spear which pierced the side of Christ and how Hitler inverted the force in a bid to conquer the world. You know, this guy, David Bass, is trying to use occultic power on people. And I can see that some people on YouTube have tried to reach out to this guy. And this video here does an excellent job of exposing this black cube nonsense that people teach. And you know what? RSE was quoted as saying in this video, he said that the God of the Old Testament is not a dualistic parasite that requires blood sacrifice, even though the Bible clearly teaches that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins. And also, do you know what he said immediately after it? He said HH88. HH88 means Heil Hitler. It's Nazi, Nazi code for Heil Hitler. This guy's trying to use some sort of power on people. And if you come across this video, right, this guy's been reached out to and he will not repent. If you come across this video and you're following this guy and you believe he's teaching the truth, I warn you in love, you need to avoid his channel. You know, if you believe this stuff, this stuff is a false gospel. If you believe this stuff, you could end up in hell. Okay, see this last clip is actually quite difficult to play because if you have any understanding of what Jesus went through for the sins of the world and then you listen to this garbage, it can affect you. So when you think about the fact that Christ came into this world as a self-sacrifice for us, everything down to his very birth symbolised that he was a fleshly sacrifice. He was literally laid in a feeding trough from when he was very young. His flesh was given as a sacrifice to this parasite that we may be free from it. He's trying to say that Jesus was offered as a sacrifice to the devil. Repent RSE, repent. The true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible can still save you. Repent. 